anything. Okay, hello, hello, is anybody there? Ooh, that is the scariest thumbnail I ever did see. I should probably change it. Yes, I should. I'm just gonna throw on some makeup while mm -hmm. we're waiting. See if anybody comes along today. I'm gonna use my two brushes too. Hello, everybody. Hello? Is anybody there? Hello, hello. How are you? Hi, Sio Ben. How are you? Happy hump day. How's your day going, love? What you doing? Hi, Andrea. How are you? Happy hump day. Ooh, I like this bronzer. I'm putting on the bronzer from um, the Ipsy bag from Estate Cosmetics and using my Complex Culture. What is this called? Some kind of, I think it was a bronzing brush. I love these brushes. Did you get these brushes from um, Ipsy? The only one I'm missing, I think, is the, um, you've been sleeping all day, Sioban? Oh, lucky you. Lucky girl. I wish I were sleeping all day. I'm okay. I'm just, you know, we just fight through it, don't we, Andrea? Um, anybody know what I do with that new gloss I got yesterday? Because I can't find it. I think I'm going to play with this today. I want to try to do a um, cut crease. <laughs> That's going to be exciting, right? Me trying to do a cut crease. Exciting. It's probably going to turn out really crappy, but hey, we're going to try it. I don't have a clue what I did with that lipstick I got yesterday. I don't know what I did with it. Well, that's a bugger because my lips are really dry. Um, yes, I'm going to try to do it. I figured because, you know, I've tried before on my own uh, to do a cut crease, but there we go. But I just, I don't know. They're hard to do. I just find, you know, I'm tired of the doing the same eye look. But, you know, I guess people with different shaped eyes, there's only certain looks that do look good on them. You know what I mean? Uh, I just, I'm just tired of doing the same one. You know what? I... Um, I ran out of my Tatcha Dewy Moisturizer and oh, my face is so dry. I've been using the Caudalie, it's like a soft, it's a day cream, but it's like called a soft cream or something. And that's just not doing it for me. I use the Caudalie, um, you know, the really expensive Caudalie, the, what is it called? ECU or something? This one. So I've been using that moisturizer and that's not doing it. And I'm like, I do not want to go and spend $86 getting another full size of this freaking moisturizer. So I need to find something because I love that moisturizer. I like the doing this. You got the get the milk makeup one. Okay, I'll look into it. Hi, Jen. How are you? Did anybody get any mail today? And this brush. Oh, my God. These brushes are stunning. I love these brushes. But you know what? We cannot buy them here in Canada. I've already tried. You can only get them, of course, because it's a company through Ipsy if you live in the States. You can't even buy, you can't buy them off their website. Doesn't that suck? So the only one I want to get now is um, the foundation brush. I really want to try that one. But oh my God, they're so nice and soft. Hi, Felster. I know Ian's at work and I've just been home working all day and kind of bored and lonely, so I'm like, I wonder if anybody will come live if I go live. We're gonna try to do a cut crease using the Rob Beauty Christie from Pure Palette. So we got, hi Jen Button, hi Felster, hi Jen B. 
You're great. Your August Ipsy finally moved, and it's going to be here September 5th. Oh, that's awesome. Anybody else? My other bag is going to be here tomorrow, and it left the U.S. on the 19th. Um, I believe it was Mishka was saying that her bag left on the 16th and still no word. And you can't believe you got the lie? Oh, yes, you had your brain surgery on Friday. Jen Button, how you feeling? Am I going to get the Nikki Tutorials palette? No, I don't think I am. I, I mean, I do watch her videos, um, but I just got the new Natasha Denona palette. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the other one. I have to, I, like, I, 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 my excuse for getting Natasha, the new Natasha Denona palette was because I canceled Ipsy. And I figure, like, because I have two accounts, so that's like 40 bucks. And then, you know, sometimes you end up spending like $60 on add-ons, right? So that was my excuse. But yeah, I look rested. Oh my, I don't even, <laughs> believe me. I was trying, I had to take like three different thumbnails because the bags and under my eyes were just like sticking out. And I'm like, well, maybe I'll try some concealer. But my skin just don't feel so good today because, you know, I've been using other moisturizers. But thank you. Um, Andra said, Bare Minerals Copper Mini Eyeshadow Palette, an Elf 6-Pan Highlighter Palette, some sunscreen, and a Milani 3-Pan Highlighter. Oh, that's what you got in the mail today, Andrea. Good job. Um, yes, Jen, Button, how you, are you're good. You said you needed time. Oh, you needed girl time. You're feeling good, though. Oh, that's good. I'm happy, Jen Button. My shoulder, Jen Button, is a... B-I-T-C-H. That's what it is. It's it's throbbing, but you know, you just can't, you uh, you can't stop. You know what I mean? Um, I find if I'm focused on something else, I, you just go, you know, you just live through it. But if I stop and then it's just like all in my head, you know? So I'm like, I gotta stay busy, but not use it so much. I, because you, you can't stop. We all know that as women, we have so much going on that we can't stop because we're not feeling well, you know? So, yeah. Christy did a pretty look with it last night, the Nikki palette. Yes, she did. I seen that video. She did, yeah. It's a it's a pretty palette. I like the, the pinks that's in there and stuff. Very pretty palette, you know, but I'm like, oh, we order it. It's coming from the UK. Isn't that where Beauty Bay is, I think? In the UK, are we going to have to pay duties and all of that? How do you compare shades between ND, you spot, and the other palette? Oh, the bronze? Oh, Jeffree Star. Um, I would, Gen B, I would go with Natasha Denona. Because I'm going to tell you, I went to go use, now see, when I, when I did that, I'm going to do another review on this palette, on the Jeffree Star, I'm doing another video. Because when I did my review, I only used, and the couple of shades I used were really, really good, right? And then I went in a couple of days ago, I didn't film or nothing like that, I was just putting on makeup. And I tried a couple of other of his shades and a couple of other shimmers, and I didn't find them that great. A couple of the shimmers so I was like oh wait a minute so um I mean like I guess all palettes there's some things that work really good some things that don't work that good so I think I'm gonna go back in and I don't know maybe like swatch all the shades on my eye or something and see how well they all come out and blend the same thing as the shimmers because the shades that I did use when I made the video those shades were great, but when I went in the next day or the day after and played with this again, whatever I used, I was like, oh, this isn't that good. So, yeah, that's the one you're talking about. Oh, you're, okay, I'm going, I know, I'm missing something. Hold on. Um, <laughs> did I spell dog? Yeah. Oh, 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 Wayne Goss. Who's that? Wait, Wayne Goss. Um, I I do love that Wayne Goss palette. I'm after using it three or four times. I must, I mean, look, Ryan, just look. This is funny, right? If you know all about the beauty school drama. So, 
Oh, sorry, Tati. What the heck, man? So I got Tati, right? I got Jeffree Star's palettes in her in her box. That is the funniest stuff I think I've ever said. Then I have Tati's palette in here. And I got Wayne Goss's palette in here. So I just kind of like threw all the palettes in there. I'm like, yeah, these are the palettes where, you know, the, the people go all up in there. Okay, hold on. Sorry, Miss Tati. I mean, that, you know, I don't mean to do that to be respect disrespectful. But this palette, um, the Wayne Goss palette, yeah, I've used this a, a bunch of times. I really do like this palette. But um, if you want to look, the spend the price on a luxurious palette and all that, this is a great palette. But there's other palettes out there that work just as well with the same kind of shades that are so much cheaper. You know what I mean? It's only if you want to spend the money on a luxurious palette. And for me, if I had a choice between this one and the new Natasha Denona, I would pick the new Natasha Denona, hands down. Okay, what's going on here? Hi, Sabrina. It's hard to get anything done. Yeah, the mini has only two stars. Yeah, I see, I see. And you know, sometimes with reviews, I was like, well, so many people, you know, dislike him that I wasn't going to pay attention to the reviews. I want to try it myself, right? And I've never, you know, tried his makeup before. Um, so I think I want to play with all of the different shades and maybe do a video swatching them all on my eyes, seeing how they blend and stuff. It's probably going to be a long ass video. When isn't it a long ass video? Um, but I wanted to give it, you know, my own shot, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, when I tried to play with, with it the other day, there was a shimmer there or two that I wasn't that impressed with. So that video is coming up and I figure we got well, once I get Ipsy, then we're, you know, all waiting on September's bags of stuff, right? And that's going to take a few weeks. So the video's coming up other than my Ipsy tomorrow. All of next week is pretty much going to be me trying on everything that I, I've gotten, um, you know, for the next two weeks. So just an FYI, guys, that's what the videos are going to be. <laughs> trying out makeup products, no unboxings. Matte is better for oily for your oily eyelids. Jen B, do you um because Robert Welsh has I think he says he has oily eyelids and he uses a primer. Um, have you tried different eye primers? Because that's supposed to be really good for oily eyelids. I think that's what he says. I know he uses, you know, uh he's he's a stickler for eyeshadow primer. Um he you know, would rather people use that than concealer on your eyelids, right? Yeah, you can use lighter colors on your lids instead of a shimmer. That's exactly right. Okay, I'm scrolling. Okay, where did I start with makeup? I got some bronzer on. Do I, I got enough on. I need a blush. I need a blush today. Ooh. <clears throat> the pain comes and goes in my arm. The throb is always in the back in my um, scapula. There's always a throbbing there, but like in my arm right now, holy, I can't even, like if I go like that, it, it's just so tender. I just can't wait to mm -hmm. find out what's going on and get it fixed. I'm going in with my Milani blush. This is a pretty blush. Did you guys see it? This is a beautiful blush from Milani. I love the little rose in it. And I've had this for a while, and I use it often, and it looks like it hasn't been touched. This is a big, <laughs> this is such a big brush to put on blush. Oh, my goodness. Probably be better to, you know, do the bronzer, because I think it's called a powder brush, but I don't use powder. So we're just going to use it for whatever we want. I know, Gen B, I tried to, I tried to delete it because I'm like, oh, I'm such an idiot. So I tried to cut that part out, but every time I tried to cut it out, I ended up cutting the video because I don't know how to edit with the cutting and stuff. I don't know how to do that. Um, I know how to put in pictures. 
um, and how to write things, you know, leave a, a writing of something, but how to cut a video, I don't know how to do that, like, or trim, because every time I try, I end up cutting things out, and I was like, I'm such an idiot, uh, but anyway, I'm like, well, it is who I am, so I just left it in there, but you know, we do that as women, don't we, you know, we overthink, and we worry, and that's just what we do, you know, but I did, I, I tried to cut it out, and I end up cutting the whole video and then I had to restart over again I really want to try you know how Jackie Ina puts um those little memes in her video um I want to figure out how to do that and I want to figure out how to you know when you're watching one of the big youtubers like say blending their eyeshadow and how they fast forward it I want to figure out how to do that as well so I can cut down the time in my video Oh, and I also want to talk about my ads. Um, so YouTube protocol is if your video is over two minutes, is longer than two minutes, they want you to put more than two ads in there. So I started just leaving a video before it started, an ad before it started, and then I would put one in the middle and one at the end, right? And then I was watching other YouTubers, and they didn't have the ad before the video started, they would have the ad within the first minute of the video. So I switched over and I did it that way because a lot of YouTubers seem to do it that way. Um, but then some people don't like it that way. So what is better for you guys? Is, is it better to have it before the video, the first ad I'm talking about, is it better for you to have the first ad before the video starts or like within that first minute because I know a lot of YouTubers have it within the first minute. And um, some people weren't liking that. So I just wanted to get your opinion on it in regards to ads. Like have it before the video starts or within the first minute. And then I usually have one at the end and one like in the middle of the video. Thank you, Andrea. Okay, I think we got enough blush on. Can you see if I got blush on? I'm trying not to hold up this mirror. I have blush on. This is such a pretty freaking blush. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Beautiful blush. So did anybody else besides Andrea get mail today? You regret not buying the hi chick. I it's oh my god, it's beautiful. I regret not getting the foundation brush. They had it on sale or on at the add-ons a, a long time ago, and I didn't get it. And I'm mm -hmm. kicking myself in the butt for not getting that foundation brush. Don't matter to you. Um if the video is good, you're watching ads or not. Same with me, like you know, most of the Every YouTuber I watch, you know, they're monetized and they have ads. And sometimes I'll just do something else um, or I skip it, you know, because after five seconds you get to skip most of these ads anyway. So, and most of the times, hey, I'm like you guys, I just skip the ads, right? So you prefer an ad before the video starts. Okay. Did I tell you that I made my first... <laughs> My first paycheck from YouTube. Did I tell you guys that? Um, so I got monetized on April 22nd. And in July, I haven't received one since. Um, because you have to make, with YouTube, you have to make $100 in profit before they send you any money. Um, hi, Janet. Jen says she's getting a bunch of mail tomorrow. You won your first YouTuber giveaway. Yay, skincare products. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations, Jen. I won once a YouTube giveaway one time from Barb, Barb's Reviews. Thank you, Jen. Yes, yeah, so um, July 22nd apparently is payday for YouTubers. For every YouTuber out there, they get paid once a month and it's on July 22nd. So I got monetized on April 22nd, and on July 22nd, I got my first paycheck of $127. I haven't received one since because I haven't made $100, right? 
Um, so, you know, may, I might get one maybe before Christmas. Another, you know, 100 bucks or something like that. But, you know, it, it'll pay for the Natasha Denona palette eventually. Or the next Natasha Denona palette, <laughs> right? But, um, yeah, that's how YouTube works. Hi, Dagny, how are you? Thank you, Jen. So Jen's getting mail tomorrow. My second Ipsy bag is coming tomorrow, and then, you know, you're just waiting now for the rest of the products to come in September. I signed up, I'm not going to believe it, I resubscribed to BoxyCharm, and I have the Boxy Lux coming. So they put me on a wait list, and I was going to cancel that this morning. And then I got up this morning because I'm like, I'm getting a Natasha Denona palette, so I'll cancel the Boxy Lux and just get the regular box. But when I got up this morning, they already took the money out of my account, and I was off the wait list. So I'm getting the Boxy Lux. I don't know what's coming. <laughs> I hope it's good. Um, but I figure I need something to unbox because I got I don't have Ipsy, right? Hi, Dana. Dana. Dana says she didn't get her July bag till last week, and you're still waiting on your August. It was not shipped till the 16th. You pause your subscription. Yeah, I've heard a few people. Mine was shipped on the, on the well, left the USA on the 19th. And I got one today. I'm getting the other one tomorrow. No problem, Dagny Love. You've never won a contest. It literally follows step-by-step and step nothing. Yeah, right, Jen B? Don't give up, love. Oh, thanks, Jen B. I've been watching. Today, I watched uh, a few Manny MUA videos. He's funny. I watched uh, the video because he gets people to, he sends people in different countries um, money to build a box of stuff from their country. So today's video was in the Philippines. Was that today? Or was it? No, I think it was two days ago. Anyway, I watched that video today. It was funny. He got a lot of stuff. What am I looking for? Let's put on this highlight that I got today. Um, so, how did everyone, the ones who canceled Ipsy, the people who canceled Ipsy, or um, paused it, how did you feel about the Ipsy add-ons today? I, I, I'm so happy Nothing for me personally. I was like, oh, yay, I didn't miss anything. So how did you guys feel? Like, were you bummed if you did cancel and there was something there that you wanted? This highlight's not very, um, I mean, it's got some shim, but it really sits on your face. It's, it's the Kaleido from Kaleido Cosmetics. It's, it's not one of my faves, this highlight. It's not. I'm going to stick on some Lottie London. <clears throat> no, Jen. Oh, actually, Jen, I did on Facebook. He does Facebook videos, right? Brad Mundo. I've seen a couple of vid his videos on Facebook. Yes, Janet, the add-ons. They did suck, didn't they? They were lame. Andrea had a bit of fear of missing out. Yep. Jen B says they were crap. Worst month. Thanks, Felster. I I was so happy when I seen those add-ons. I was like, girl, I didn't miss anything. I was like, good month to cancel. I didn't think they were that great either. The only thing, you know, I love getting new foundation, but I've already tried the Beauty Blender foundation, and I don't really like it. Um, and that would have been like the only thing that I would have went, oh, do I want to get it? But I know I don't like the foundation because I've tried it a few times. So I was like, okay, I didn't miss out on anything at all, you know? And watch all those people who redeemed their points for that Estate Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. I wait. They'll come back and say it was sold out. Guaranteed. Um, I don't expect many people to be getting that Estate eyeshadow palette that they redeemed their points on. I'm telling you right now, they're going to come back and they're going to say that. Because they did it before with the um, uh, Violet Voss palette. Uh, God... It was like pinks. My nose is too shiny. It was like, God is way too shiny. Oh my goodness. 
I don't know how people go around. You know those YouTubers go and they shine up their whole nose? I can't have that big shine on my nose. Um, it was a Violet Voss palette. And it had like pinks in it. Berry Burst. So they had it. You can redeem your points. This is back in June, I think. Or May. And then they had it as an add-on. And then everyone who redeemed their points got a message. Sorry, we're all sold out. I'm like, you dirty little bugger. So I'll be surprised if people who redeem their points actually get that. We do have to stay strong. That is so true. Janet said she got a brush for $3. I think they did have... I, I don't remember. I just remember. And that far Sally. Um, for $25 US. And they were all mini sizes. Aren't they like... 30 bucks or something here in Canada anyway because I believe I got that last Christmas they had it on sale or something but yeah I was happy I didn't miss out on it so who is getting the um, the advent calendars has anyone ordered an advent calendar yet you don't think they were minis? Oh, okay. I seen somebody write down that they were minis, um, Andrea. That they were like, you know, someone wrote down and said, hey, just an FYI, those things are minis or something. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, so I seen the spoilers for the Look Fantastic Advent Calendar. Anybody else? I could be wrong too, Andrea. Um, I know I read that, but I mean, that person could have been wrong too, right? Did anyone grab it? It was like 110 bucks. I believe a few girls on the page were saying. Did anyone grab it? I'm waiting for the um, Glossy Box Advent Calendar to come out. Because I want to see what they have. I'm going to get one or the other. And I was a little bit disappointed, I think, in a Look Fantastic Advent Calendar. I last They usually have like one product that's like, oh, wow, you know, that's a big bang makeup product and I didn't feel like they had something like that this year from what I've seen anyways in the spoiler so anybody else they had some good skin care but I found that they had seems like they had I can't even get this open for the love of God they had um, a few more deluxe more seems like deluxe size items than full size items and then for $110 Canadian I don't know. I'm kind of hoping this time Glossy Box, because usually Look Fantastic is usually better than Glossy Box. So I'm kind of hoping this time that Glossy Box is better than Look Fantastic, but I will get one of them. Oh, I read that. Just don't get, yeah, don't get the Sephora Advent Calendar. Apparently, it's it's every year, it's it's disturbing what they put in there and the price that they charge. Oh my god, it's disturbing. Last year, they legit had, um, oh my god, what are they? Like, little, you know when you go to Sephora and they have those mascara wands for free? Or, like, the little eyeshadow brushes, the little tiny ones for free that you would use if you want to, you know, try something? That's what they had in the Sephora calendar last year. It was insane. That was crazy. So what did everyone have for dinner? I had a grilled bacon cheese sandwich. Of course, Ian's at work. So that's my usually my go-to. But what did you guys all have for dinner? Oh, my skin is so dry. Andrea, is that milk uh, makeup moisturizer, is it like a dewy, luminous? moisturizer like the Tatcha one because that's what I want to find I want to find a dupe for the Tatcha dewy um, to have it like dewy and luminous but still a really good moisturizer egg in the hole egg in the hole what is the egg in the hole is that is that like bread and you take the circle out of the bread and put the egg in it is that what egg in the hole is chick That's what I think Agna Hole is, right? Yeah, I knew that. I used to love that when I was a kid. Um, Andrea haven't had anything yet, but she's going to have 
Taco Bell in the fridge. Leftover Taco Bell. I have not had Taco Bell in years. I think the first time I came to Toronto was one of the things I couldn't wait to try. Um, mm. and it was okay, but it you know wasn't as good as fried chicken. And I have not had Taco Bell in years. I always wonder if Taco Bell in the States, is it different than here? Because it seems like so many people in the States or the YouTubers love Taco Bell. And I'm like, really? Because it's it, to me, I, I didn't think it was all that great. So is it better in the States? Dagny's having a barbecue. Honey, garlic, sausage, and potatoes, carrots, and onion cooking in tin foil. Oh, that sounds yummy. It's not so much dewy, very thick and moisturizing. Okay, Andrea. I was kind of hoping that e.l.f. would have something like it, a dupe for it. But upon mm -hmm. reading on their moisturizers, it didn't say anything about a luminous or a dewy. Jan had steak, sauteed mushrooms. No, I didn't have crab legs again. I had a bacon grilled cheese sandwich. Ian's at work. So when Ian's at work, either I, you know, have bacon and eggs or a bacon grilled cheese sandwich or we order something in. But this time I just had a bacon grilled cheese sandwich. They have more menu items. Oh, okay. Yeah, I bet you it was yummy. Chick says she sees the commercial for Taco Bell and it looks good, but you don't have one there. No. Chick, are you in, are you in Newfoundland, right? I think. I don't know. Are, oh my God. Chick, are you in Newfoundland? Where are you, Chick? I thought somebody was in Newfoundland. Maybe I said that wrong. Maybe it's not you. Yeah, I knew that. Yes, St. John. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God you, you're in Newfoundland. Oh, my God. I could have gotten somebody going, no, I'm not in Newfoundland. Um, I need a brush. Okay, so I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do a cut crease. Okay, so this is. The Raw Beauty palette, Raw Beauty Christy palette. Lisa can't speak today. So it's double sided. Which shade should I put in my crease? They're everywhere here in Michigan. Gotta drive over the bridge. Okay. I'm gonna have to try it again the next time I'm in the States. Go to Taco Bell. I can't wait to travel. Drooling, Andrea said. <laughs> um, is is there like, can we travel to other countries? I know we can to Europe or to England for sure. But are people like going to resorts like to Dominican? Okay, which, which color am I going to put on my eyes? That's the question. Which color first? Oh, I don't know. Ooh, 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 I don't know. Blue in the crease. Oh, Jen, you're really, you're really getting me going here today. Okay. This might turn out to be crappy because, you know, I can't do brights. Chick says whenever she visits the States, it's all about food places you see on TV but don't have. Same. I'm the same. I want to eat everything I see. Oh, wow. So... When you go in with the blue, like like Rob Beauty Christie said, it's very softly pressed. Um, and I just got that all over the white shade. So I'm going in with the blue. Again, I'm not a professional. So I don't know what I'm doing with blue shades. Copper boxes. What is copper boxes? I'm missing. Okay, guys. You see how scared I am here? So I'm putting a blue in the crease. Oh, Lord in heaven. I'm going to end up looking like a rainbow today. Okay, it's nice. I mean, it's blending very nicely. I have played with this palette, and it is very nice. It's pigmented. It blends nicely. Get a little bit more. The shade copper boxes to go in with. Oh. Okay, well, maybe we'll do that next. 
First paycheck celebration, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Who had their first paycheck celebration? It goes with my shirt. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, everybody. Wow. Okay. Honest. Does that look right to you? Seriously, like, I don't know. I get, Maybe it's because it's blue and it's bright and stuff. I never know if it looks right as I'm blending it. But does that look right? Now put the copper on the lid. Now put the copper on the lid. Okay. Okay. Copper boxes. All right. Copper boxes is going. Okay, so you put the brown all over the lid. Like this. Okay. Now what am I going to do next? I mean, shouldn't I do something with this? I mean, I maybe blend it out a little bit better. I got a clean brush. Oh, I don't know what to do with blue. Okay, we're just, we're just going to forget about that. And I'll fix that later. Okay. Now it's gone. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't listen to you. Weed is legal here. Hey, you know what? Makeup is all about just trying stuff, right? Do you know what I mean? Okay. And I can put anything else over this here brown. But I'm thinking maybe I should pat, pat maybe that blue in. Should I pat it in instead of trying to blend it? Because, like, the shade is going out and it literally, like, it makes me look like I have a black eye when I blend it. You know? Because the color is now kind of, like, purple, right? Oh, my God, Jan, you're funny. Okay. Okay. We're, we're going to fix it. We are going to... We're going to fix it. We're going to put another shade there. I'm going in with another shade over the blue. We're going to fix you, girl. Okay. I'm going into the bright side. And... Oh, just... Oh. What do you think I should do? The purple? Maybe I should put the purple over it and see what happens. We're going to go in with the purple. Purple is only going to make it look, look more like I got a, you know what? It's a pigment. Some of the times, a pigment you have to pat in. See, like when I pat it, the pigment is stunning, right? I find sometimes a pressed pigment, if you blend it out, it loses its color. So you have to pat it in. So, Okay. So now we got purple. Bye, Felster. Her baby's in bed. Good night, love. Okay. Okay, so we got the purple. I'm thinking yellow. Would I do something with yellow here? Oh, I got an idea. Hold on, everybody. I got an idea. Okay. So I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eye primer. It's white. And I need a little chummy digger like this. Maybe. Um, okay, I'm going, to take, I'm going to take this chummy digger here. And a little bit of this primer. Because you only need a little tiny bit of this primer. Red. Okay, so okay. So I'm, I'm taking this primer because I want to do like, I don't know, a cut crease salt kind of a thing. But I'm just bringing the primer 
down a bit because I still want to keep that purple there. And uh, I don't know how to do a cut crease, so this is not going to be perfect, everybody. My line is not going to be perfect. I don't know how people do these perfect, perfect freaking lines anyway. Okay. So now we're going to go in with the red. Hi, Sylvia. How are you? Oh, thank you. Please, everyone, like the video. Okay. Um, okay, we're doing red. We're going to go in with red. Flavor Town. Oh, I should use a smaller brush, crackers. Okay. We're going to pat that red. Do you guys do this when you're trying to do something you don't usually do? Do you talk to yourself as talk to yourself as you're trying to do it? Because you know what? Even if you guys weren't here and I'd be trying to do this cut crease, I literally would be talking to myself. I know I have... Uh, where are my brushes? Like, I know I have smaller brushes. Where are they? Lord, I can't find a brush. Okay, I'm going to go back in with the red. Get a little bit more pigment. Okay, guys, get ready and tell me what next color. Because we're going to do a rainbow color. Okay. Look, can you see the purple and the red? Yay, that's not too bad. Is this too bad? Okay. All right, what are we doing next? So we got purple, we got red. I think we should have maybe, I don't know, a color right here and then we'll go in with the shimmer. What do you think, yellow? Somebody let me know. We're just playing in here. Okay. Anybody? Did I lose everybody? You still think it's going to look good? Okay. I'm afraid everyone's going to leave my channel going, this girl is a real, like, she's really a wing nut. She has proven it today. Okay, cut crease. This is not really a cut crease, everybody, because I don't know how to do that. Practice makes perfect, you know. Okay. Wow. Does my eye look like, like it's really out of shape right now? Okay. All right. Bump, 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 bump. We, we tried to blue, <laughs> we tried to blue where the purple is, um, but I blended it out, so we just went in with the, the purple then. Okay, dandelion, so we have the dandelion perp yellow, and we have, so we got chestnut yellow, and we got the dandelion. This is dandelion, I think maybe that one, this is a little bit brighter. I'm taking this kind of a brush. Yellow, make it look like a sunset. Okay, yep. You know, I've tried a sunset look so many times. Um, it never comes out looking anything good. This is not the right brush. I need a, I need a smaller brush, a better brush. I'll take this one. I'm going to have every brush known to man dirty today. Okay. So we're taking the yellow. Now what should we put? What else should we do? Bye, Miss Sylvie. Oh, she worked 12 hours a day. Good God, love Miss Sylvie. She works crazy hours. Okay. Right. This is not going as planned, everybody. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna flip flip her over and I'm gonna take um maybe my whole heart, which is a nudie kind of shade. And oh no. I wanted to blend it kind of thing. 
Okay. Blend. 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 All right, everyone. What are we doing? It's looking good. Andrea, you're so you're so good at at tooting, Andrea. You trying to tell me that it looks good? That looks like a, a mess made in heaven. Okay. What are we going to put in here now, though? Orange. Orange has got to go in here. We might as well just go all the way. If we're going all the way, go all the way. What is that song? Remember that song by, um, oh, my God. We're going to go all the way tonight. Going to go, going to go. Dashboard light song. You guys know what I'm talking about because you're older than 30. Paradise by the dashboard light. That song. We're going all the way tonight, girls. Uh oh, I lost my yellow. I lost the yellow. I lost it. I lost the yellow. Crackers, the yellow is gone. Mayday. Here's yellow. I'll put yellow back in there. All right, everybody. Now I'm going to take the orange. And I'm going to put it right here. In the center of my lid. Well, gentle Lord. So who wants to um, call Raw Beauty Christy and tell her to come and get her palette back? Because um, I'm making it a total disgrace. Oh my God. I know y'all laughing at home. That's what this channel is all about though, everybody. You can't laugh, then what's the point, right? Beautiful. I have such a beautiful orange eyelid. God, look at that. Look at that mess. Huh, looks like a rainbow. Hello, baby. <laughs> Hi, baby cakes. How are you? <laughs> Do you love my eye look? Oh, my God. Don't show anybody at work, please. Just stick with the other side the next time. Oh, it, yep, I know. Meatloaf dashboard confessional. <laughs> Ian goes, it looks like he punched me in the face. I know, right? This is why I, I just, bright, me and Brights, I can't do this. Stuff. I don't like these colors on my eyes. I legit don't. But we're going to put a little shimmer here. Um, just to give it a little bit of shine. And, yeah. Now, tell me, what would you girls do right here? Oh, my God. This has got to be the worst eye look I've ever done in my life. And it's not anything to do with Raw Beauty Christie and her palette. So, I'm going to take, we're going to, we're going to finish it off. I'm taking the blue. I am taking the blue I'm just going to, that's not working. Okay, I'm going to try to put the blue. Now it's all over my face. Bright. Brilliant here, okay. Shimmer always makes it better, yes. <laughs> Dana said, it can't be any worse than the one time you tried Madison Miller O for blush and end up looking like an orange. <laughs> yup. See, now you understand when you see me, you know, putting on or making videos of different eyeshadow palettes and stuff, why well, most times I stay away from these shades because I'm clueless. And honestly, I just don't like the way some of these bright colors personally look on myself. And I just got a crap load of fallout down there, didn't I? Um, so, yeah. Well, now that I got one, two, three, five, six, seven. Now that I have eight brushes dirty, we're going to go ahead and do something with the other side. And I'm not going into the bright side. 
I mean, some of these colors I would use, like I would use that in my crease. Um, I would try to do something with the red, you know what I mean? And the purple and even the pink, the shimmer is beautiful. And I like how the white can make different colors. Um, but these two, I, you know, normally wouldn't wear, you know what I mean? But you can make all the colors work. It doesn't have to be a rainbow, but we had fun. I should get Madison to put it on for me. Yeah, Madison would do such a better job. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, well anyway, we're gonna go through the rest of the video looking like this. Cause you know, that's who we are. Okay, what am I gonna do now? I'm going over to the neutral side now. And I'm thinking I might start with Moo Point. What do you think? Start with Moo Point? I'm staying away from the yellow. So I'm going to put move point in my crease. Besides the Natasha Denona palette, is there anything coming out that you guys, um, you personally want to get? Have you seen anything that, you know, you can't wait for it to be released? And is anyone getting the Nikki tutorial palette? I think Limelight's got an ice cream truck palette, something like that coming out. I just need a neon green eyeliner with the big wing. Right. We can do that. I don't know how to do a wing, but we can try. So where would I put the eyeliner? On like here on my waterline? Or would I go here and make it neon? I don't have neon. I don't. The only green eyeliner I have is this one. And I don't know if you can put that on your... It's a gel liner. Would you put that on your waterline? It's a gel liner. I've never opened it. It's been sitting there forever. This is like a pretty pinkish. Nude, kind of a pink matte. Really nice in your crease. Ian is watching because Ian's going to do my makeup. Right, baby case? One day you're going to do my makeup? Oh, the Urban Decay Stone Palette is pretty. Oh, you know, I've heard, um, I watched Samantha March today doing her Will Her Buy It, Will She Buy It series, her video today, and she talked about that, and I don't even think I know what it looks like. What kind of, you're funny, Ian McCabe. <clears throat> what kind of um, shades are in there? Andrea in the Urban Decay. Now I'm taking a little bit of Just, It Just Does. So I had a little bit of It Just Does and Told You. And I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm making a big old mess. I'm going to make it look like I have a black eye over here as well. Might as well. I need another brush. Why can't I find any brushes? Because they're all falling on the floor. Across the top, but you were joking. Okay. <laughs> Has anyone tried any of those neon eyeliners? I think Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with some. And um, I think a few more companies, maybe even ColourPop. Has anyone tried any of those? Oh, what a, what a, st I'm, I am looking like a strill from Bond Street today, let me tell you. If mom see me now, thank God she don't watch these videos. Because what a mess. Right, okay, I give up. I'm giving up on these eyeshadows today. Not on the eyeshadows, I'm giving up on me. Now I'm just taking the shimmer, sticking that on my lid. We're gonna throw on some mascara and we're gonna call it a day. And I'm telling you, if Raw Beauty Christie ever sees this video, I would be very, very embarrassed. When I, when I actually upload a video doing her eyeshadow palette, um, I'll, I'll make, uh, I'll, you know, it won't look like this. Four nude matte and the rest are beautiful shimmers. Oh, really? 
Last week, you tried them all. <laughs> You're funny, Ian. That's looking pretty, Andrea said. What would you say if you guys had a choice on what your favorite eyeshadow palette is? What is your favorite eyeshadow palette? Your absolute favorite, your number one that you go towards all the time, what would it be? You have the Suva Beauty one. I love um, Su Suva Beauty. They're coming out with a new one. I like their, um, the Rose Period. Oh my God, that's one of my absolute favorite palettes is the Rose Period from Suva Beauty. Going Coconuts. Yes, Andrea, that's a great palette too. I have two of them. Where they are, I don't know. So I have the Suva Beauty Going Coconuts. I wonder who's... Is, oh, there's 12 people watching me right now looking like this. That's insane. Suva Beauty the Rose palette. Oh, one of the prettiest palettes I think I've ever gotten from the Tribe Beauty Box. One of my absolute favorites. Actually, I think out of all the palettes I've ever gotten from Tribe Beauty Box, this one is probably my absolute favorite. I love this palette. Your Natasha Denona minis. Oh, I know. I love my minis. Hi, Mary. How are you? Um, which one would you say is your favorite Natasha Denona mini? I think the nude would be mine. It's, it would probably be a mix between the nude and a star. I actually have that Lily one that I don't, I've never touched. I haven't even swatched it yet. And going coconuts. She's here somewhere. Where are you? Here we go. I haven't worn this one in a long time. I think I might put this one on to Andrea tomorrow. I haven't put it on in a long time. That one is gorgeous too. Oh, I love, like, I love these, this shimmer shade here. Oh, she's beautiful though. Look at that. That is like, these are my favorite shades for shimmers. I love these shades. Let's try the other two. Here's the other. Stunning. Love it. I think I might wear that one tomorrow. Love that palette. Retro Glam from Natasha Denona. I got that one. Melt Gemini is your favorite. Bye, baby. Love you. I'm going to be getting off soon, so I'll give you a call. Um, they're like your babies. You can't choose. They are equally stunning and have a beauty of their own. So true. I'm 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 kind of done with this eyeshadow look. I'm I'm putting it away. <laughs> what a mess. I got eyeshadow everywhere. I look gorgeous no matter what makeup I put on. It's 10:30 there and you think your internet is lagging, so you're off to bed. Good night, chick love. Have a great night. Have a good sleep. Mm -hmm. You know, I was I was impressed. I know I read that some people didn't like um you know, I better put this back in my drawer because I gotta, I gotta do a video on it. Oh my God. So I have this drawer where I have to, all the things I want to make a video on and, and I can't even close it now. There's so much stuff in it. Um, retro. I got it right here, girl. Ma Miss Mary, Miss Mary said that she wanted, this one is one of her favorites. I have never tried anything from Melt. From that company melt cosmetics i've never tried anything from that company um oh look robert walsh just came out with a new video doing my makeup techniques actually he came out with that today and i just got the notification i've never tried anything from melt cosmetics and you know why i think it is this is retro retro is stunning too oh my god natasha denona she knows what she's at let me tell you I'm hoping before I go to bed tonight, I get tracking for her new palette. Because sometimes you do, because they're so fast with shipping sometimes, Flora. So I'm hoping before I go to bed tonight, 
I get tracking and then the company will pick it up at the warehouse after midnight and then I get it tomorrow. That's what I'm hoping. Melt Newbie Highlighter is pretty. Natasha Denona is stellar. It is stunning. She's She does such a great job. Great job. I think one of the reasons why I don't tend to go towards um, Melt Cosmetics is because of the shape of their eyeshadow palette pans. Because I like, I tend to like the squares and they do the long way, right? And I don't know what it is with me, but I don't tend to like palettes that are like that. I don't even think I have many palettes that are like that, actually. Look, here's another palette I haven't even touched. Oh, I bet, no, it's not. That's Jacqueline Hill's palette. Oh my God, I got so many palettes mm -hmm. that I'm supposed to make a video on, I haven't touched it. Isn't that shocking? Hi, Miss Jody. Yes, I decided to come live because, you know, Ian was at work and I was lonely and bored. The rectangles. Yeah, I, and I think that's the reason why I, there's a lot of eyeshadow palettes out there. Um, Urban Decay never owned one because of those bloody rectangles. I just don't like the design. I, I just, it seems like I just can't buy it. I just don't like the rectangles. I, that's weird, right? Like, is there some... Do I have some kind of disorder? Do you know what I mean? Like how people have disorders for everything? I probably got some kind of a rec disorder. Oh. <laughs> it almost sounded like I was going to say rectum. But it, I probably got some kind of a disorder because I don't like the rectangle eyeshadows. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Yeah, I'm proud. That's strange, right? That's weird. I don't think I have one like it, though. Mm -hmm. What is this? Ace Beauty? No. Strange. I'm strange. It circles, but it doesn't keep you from buying eyeshadow. It, I don't mind circles. Rectangles for me is a no-no. So, yeah, Urban Decay I've never bought. I've never bought um, Melt Cosmetics. I think there's another couple brands as well that I've never bought. You know what I forgot? I wanted to try that blush that we got in the um, Look Fantastic box. I totally forgot about it. Crackers. Cracker Jackers. Okay, everybody. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to come and say hi. I'm going to go and take off my makeup now. Y'all missed the show. Mm -hmm. This is my look. What do y'all think? We tried to do it. Well, the girls tried to help me to do some kind of a decent look. But, you know, I can't do brights. I mean, this is blue. We got some yellow and orange and red and purple. And what a disgrace. Such a disgrace. Jody, you don't like the rectangles either. You like circles or squares. Yes. But today it doesn't really matter because you're a sloth. That's right. That's right. You choose to be whatever you want to be. <laughs> And Jody is a sloth today. Uh, I'm probably going to be a sloth tomorrow. Yeah, or on the weekend. Has anyone got any plans for the weekend? I will be live on Saturday, guys. This is just um, a one-off that I came live tonight. So I will be live on Saturday, same time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's the journey. That's right, Mary. It is the journey, and we had fun. <laughs> One day, I'm going to figure out how to do a cut crease, though. Uh, thanks, Janet. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to go and take this off now and um, get ready for bed. Check my computer. Make sure there's nothing I've missed for work for tomorrow. I did that last night. Totally forgot to book in a patient for, like, first thing this morning. And I was going to bed at, like, 11 o'clock, and I'm like, oh, my God. I got to go on the computer. I forgot to put book in a patient. So I'm doing it at 11 o'clock last night. Yeah, lots of fun. Lots of fun. Okay, so I'll see you all on Saturday tomorrow. I should be um, uploading my last Ipsy bag. And I'll let you know if Ipsy ever reaches out. Um, and then, yeah, guys, so, so the next couple of weeks, there's going to be a lot of videos of me trying on different makeup. And it might not be pretty. So that's it, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you for coming. Bye.